Since the 20th century beat a decidedly frenzied gamble into the new millennium, I've lost a number of friends, musicians that I really care about. It's always upsetting because these musicians, they're unique individuals. I've been involved with jazz my entire life. I started listening to the music when I was a teenager. I was 17 when John Coltrane died, but I really hadn't heard his music. I know how important he was. He was a lightning rod of controversy in the last few years of his life. Many people loved him and the subject of considerable criticism as well. The other thing about Coltrane that I recognized even as a young man was the spiritual nature of his music and the man himself. It's a puzzle. No, nobody has a complete answer to anything. The world is so screwed up that only a deity could have done it, made it this messed up. A deity doing this is being done for a reason. Certain beliefs uh, feel, well, the reason is that we have to work out our own salvation. No rhyme or reason why these incredible creators who bring such beauty and passion into the world depart prematurely, while so many scum-sucking pig fuckers like Donald Trump just seem to live on forever. When we're young, we don't think about being old. We see our elders, we revere them, but we don't think we're gonna get to that point. But we do, that's part of the process. Yet some leave prematurely, and such a man was Michael Brecker. Basically, I hope that the, you know, that the music that I'm making is communicating in some kind of uplifting way. Uh, I'm a perpetual student. You know, I'm always trying to learn new things. I never feel like I have anything together. Um, and uh, you know, I'm always taking lessons and, uh, and trying to you know, fill in holes and, and also find avenues that are interesting to explore uh, artistically and musically. Um, and I, you know, I think that that's the main vehicle for me to, uh, to hopefully inspire others. Perhaps Michael's death hit me the hardest because he's the same age as I am. A few days ago, my friend Mulgrew Miller left us. I'm sitting doing this in the room where I did an interview with Mulgrew in March of 2007. And there's, there's been a tremendous outpouring of love for Mulgrew and his music on Facebook and in social media since his passing. Social media is now the community center where people share their feelings, especially about these kinds of things. Our community, our global jazz community, gathers on Facebook. And when someone who means so much to us departs, this is the place where we go to grieve. These individuals, these remarkable people can never be replaced. There'll never be another John Coltrane or Michael Brecker or Mulgrew Miller. Sonny Rollins once said to me that he thought there was only one business that was as bad as the jazz business, and that was the boxing business. Jazz musicians are musical samurais. They have to be to play this music and to fight their way through the jazz business. When we have a man like Mulgrew Miller, who lives a life of musical mastery and personal integrity, no wonder we feel the loss so strongly. That whole King movement, Martin Luther King, and you know that that was the focus. You know that that uh, you grow up uh, and maintain some kind of integrity about yourself as 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 uh, a black man or black woman. And um, I think I still carry those values. There are very few individuals like Mulgrew Miller in any aspect of life. As I march towards my destiny, whatever that might be, I just want to stop and pay tribute to these people who mean so much to me, mean so much to so many others all around this planet, because jazz is truly a global medium. I remember uh, back early on, um, Coltrane and myself and some other people had high hopes that music would change the world. It has changed some people's lives, which is enough. It's sometimes said, one person really can't make a difference. I don't think that's true. Look at Mulgrew Miller. Mulgrew made a difference. Look at the people he touched in his life, through his music, through the interacting with people, or the way he treated people, and as an educator as well. This, this is one of the few things that you can do in society and, uh, you know, express yourself freely and creatively. 
You know, this is one of the most creative things you can do. There are very few individuals like Mulgrew Miller in any aspect of life. I once did an interview with Archie Shepp, and someone had passed a uh, day before. I don't know if it was Ben Webster or someone. And as I sat with Archie, he said to me that uh, each one that passes, it diminishes me just a little bit more. I know how special this music is because um, th through the grace of God, I've been allowed to walk among the giants, to be on the bandstand with them. And when this music is played uh, in the right spirit, I know the effect that it can have. I know how special it is and I know how it, it impacts people. I think that's important.